got you got the ground, okay, you have the wind, the air blowing, so that's the wind. Moving air is the wind, and then you have the, the airplane propelling itself through the air. So we have, the, let's list the three vectors. So the first one is the plane is <coughs> flying relative to the medium that it's in, the air. Okay, and that, it tells us that the plane is traveling 285 kilometers per hour relative to the air, but we do not know the direction, so I'll leave a blank there for that. We know that the air is moving relative to the ground, that's the wind, and it's blowing 95 kilometers per hour, and it tells us it's blowing 30 degrees north of east. And then we want to know relative to somebody on the ground, what does the airplane speed, what, what is its velocity? So the person on the ground has to account for the air moving and for the plane flying, propelling itself through the air. So that's going to be the velocity of the plane relative to the ground. Now, we don't know how fast it will be going relative to the ground, but we do know that it won't, we want it to be going due north, exactly north. So those are the three velocities, and we don't know either of these two values. Now. We know that two of these vectors need to add and then give us the result that we want. Well, this is what we want to measure relative to the ground. What is the plane's velocity? So that means that these two have to add together. So as a check, we'll write out our relative velocity equation. So PAAG, the inside subscript, cancels out, and we get VPG. So this is the method that we want to add these. And what this means is that on our diagram with the vectors, we should expect these to be tip to tail. Okay, so those vectors, we need to make sure they're tip to tail. And then that way, this gives us the resulting vector. So let's start out making a diagram here. We know that this vector. So let's draw that. So if you can picture, the air is blowing that way. That's the air relative to the ground. It is moving 95 kilometers per hour, 30 degrees north of east. And to that, we need to add the other vector, PA, tip to tail. So that means PA is going to start here, and it's going to go off in some direction. That's what we want to find. It could go anywhere. But what we know is that after we draw it in, that the resultant, which will be drawn from this tail to the tip of the last vector, needs to go due north. Right? That's what this tells us. So basically, we know that the resultant, maybe I'll draw the resultant here in blue, needs to go due north. And that's the velocity of the plane relative to the ground. So tip to tail, that means that plane to air must be like that. So that's plane into the air at 285. So imagine the wind's blowing this way, the plane needs to point that way to compensate for the air, and then the result of that is it goes due north. And then we could find this angle. And we could put that in there for the direction. So we have one vector that we can break down and get the components for. So let's do that. So if we do this, we get the x component of this is 82. <coughs> and the y component of this is 48. Now that helps us because what is the y component of this vector, or the x component of this vector? This yeah. one. It's due north, right? So what's the x component equal to? Zero. Zero. So that must mean that the x component of this one is 82 in the other direction. So they both cancel out and we have 82. So we can infer that this is 82. Positive 82 and negative 82 equals zero. And that cancels out 
and we, then we don't have any x component to our resultant. And then if we know that's 82, now we can find the angle, and then we can find this side. So let's first get the angle. So theta is, let's see, we have a adjacent and a uh, hypotenuse, so cosine negative 1, 82 over 285. That gives me 73 degrees. So what we just found is that this angle is 73 degrees, and that's north of west. So that goes here, 73 degrees north of west. <clears throat> and now what's left to do is find this side. And then the total y is 48 and that, and that gives you the velocity of the plane, or the, the, the airspeed, the ground speed. So that's the opposite side, so we could do uh, sine 73 equals VPG over 285. And so then the plane to the ground, the speed is 273. So this is 273. I'm sorry, this is 273 here. But then 273 plus 48 gives us 321. That goes here, 321 kilometers per hour. 